A different kind of protest tonight in Tulsa. People are gathering at Veterans Park to show their support for Dakota Pipeline protesters. Two Works For You reporter Brian Miller is live with what they hope to achieve. Brian. Well, this rally brought about 200 people out to this park behind me. Now, they say it's important now more than ever to show they support the protesters up in North Dakota. In a crowd of hundreds, three numbers stand out. Over and over again, I've shown this arm. I've redarkened the number that they gave me. Standing Rock, 138. Casey Camp Hornick was arrested at Standing Rock October 27th. She says law enforcement marked her with this number. Their way, she says, of keeping track of hundreds of arrests. Police force and soldiers, National Guard, uh, tanks, snipers, ATVs uh, running down the horses and knocking children to the ground. Prayer is gonna lead and among the hundreds, this last time we stayed. Few stories weekend, stood out. I was in the direct action when they uh, were in the river against the Morton County police officers. More than 120 miles. How far some drove to be here. It affects us all, no matter where we are. And I think even if it's at home. Taking a few minutes just to pray about it, I hope that those who are there you know, on the front lines going through all of this, that at least they're protected. Hundreds standing for thousands in a fight with no signs of slowing down. Energy Transfer Partners is the company working on this project, and they continue to do so. They insist that the project is safe and will decrease our nation's dependency on foreign oil. Meanwhile, the company spokesperson says they're happy Trump got elected because he is pro domestic foreign oil or de pro domestic oil and gas production, something many here in this crowd tonight are fearful of. Reporting live in Tulsa, Brian Miller, two works for you.